Good evening and welcome to the Nahati Stadium. It's time for match number 12 of the Hero I League in the championship phase as the table toppers and defending champions Gokulam Kerala take on Niroka FC who are at the bottom of the championship stage table. There is Vincenzo free to use it. Here is Sweden. This is a chance for Niroka and what a save that is by Rakshit Dagar. That is an incredible piece of goalkeeping. But you have to say those two. Dananjoy pinches it back. There is Juan Mera gets it away. Then takes it off the feet of Kamanga. He's looking for a ball towards Mendy who takes it down. Will he set it up for Kamanga? Good defending by Amino. And the shot comes in from distance. He struck it beautifully there. I think it was Johnny Chan saying yes it was. And it brushes off onto the rest of his side. And why not? Here is Fletcher finding Emil Benny with some space in the midfield. He's got Razik with him. Will he choose to play to him? No, he doesn't. He went for Zaman the other side, which was another option. And Fletcher takes a shot. He's smashed it across the face of goal. Don't know if Shubham Das got a touch to it. But this Here is Juan Mera. Good ball from him to Kaming Tang. He's got Mendy if he wants inside. Kaming Tang can't get away from Uwes. Plays it back to Kamanga. Who looks like he's going to shoot from distance. But that is over the top. He's very strong. And today Naroka are giving them a battle. Which is good to see. Mohammed just steps past Kamanga and Abdul plays that back straight into the path of Tahir Zaman who has put that in the back of the net and Gokulam Kerala have received an absolute gift from Niroka FC and it is Tahir Zaman who has put that past Shubham Das and this is deja vu for Niroka they did the exact same thing in the exact same stadium versus Mohammed in sporting the game. Maybe he can just loop it underneath the crossbar. It looks like it is Mendy. You take it, Sergio Mendy. What a save by Rakshit Dagar once again. This is phenomenal goalkeeping by him. But the goal he conceded, he couldn't do much about. Here is Sweden, has a lot of space. He's got Mendy ahead of him. He takes it himself. Sweden needs to do a lot better if he's going to beat Rakshit Dagar today. And Fletcher will take it now for the Malabarians. Plays it towards Zaman. Probably the better option was to Owez. Owez has it now. Jitin is there. So is Fletcher. So is Shikutan. It's straight to Shikutan who probably could have gone with his feet instead of a diving header. Gukulam Kerala are so organized. Nothing is coming to fruition for Neroka. Can Sweden change that? He's up against Jasim. This is a good battle between them. Sweden plays it to Kamanga, who gets there ahead of Benny. And he turns. This is good from Kamanga. Oh, he was looking for that top right corner. And the Zimbabwean, all Jitin, doesn't stop running. Shikutan plays it to Emil Benny who doesn't stop running either in that midfield. He goes for a long ball. Jitin is still running as I mentioned. Plays a ball to the edge of the area. Always has scored from this distance. In fact, even farther before. Now the ball played in but it's very tough to beat the likes of Bobo Amino. In those areas and is another counter-attacking opportunity for Gokulam Kerala. Shikutan goes inside but goes into too many bodies. Emil Benny says has it. He plays it wild to Fletcher who's going to let rip. And that's a good save from Shubham Das. But once again it's too easy for Gokulam Kerala versus this Niroka defense. Which will be one for ages to remember. As you see, another good ball towards Fletcher. This could be a chance for him. He's taken it quite wide. He plays it inside. And easy as you like for Gokulab Kerala. This is football of champions. And Tahir Zaman has 
net it and rather look how much it means to them. They know that this could be an unassailable lead and okay, this could... Sweden with a 1-2 with Juan who has lost it. Yes, Emil Benny who started off that move. Jitin, back to Benny. Emerging player of the season last year. Gained all his experience and has taken it into this year and has had another great campaign and that is a horrific mistake from Shubham Das and that could be game set and match for Gokulam Kerala just like that it could be three points in the bag along with three goals look at the way they're celebrating they know that this was not going to be an easy game but suddenly it could turn out to be a goal fest and turn away in for number 11 so they know exactly how they can get past as shot comes in from Kaiming Tang. so good in those areas what an impressive player he is in the midfield is Jitin and Zaman just loses his footing. Peter Haukip will be coming on for Abdul and that is a replacement. And they don't have too many defenders to choose from. Mendy takes a shot and another great save from Rakshit Dagar. He is going to take some beating today. To switch from Hero I League mode to AFC Cup mode and they will be playing that tournament as we see Juan Mera Toki. Taking a shot from distance. I was going to say looking for the shot, but eventually. Here is Jaseem playing it inside for Gokulam Kerala Adinga. Going for a ball towards Shrikuttan, who is onside. Plays it two ways. Chance to shoot from Adinga. What a shot from him. It has hit the upright. I don't know if Shubham Das got a save on it. But after. Churchill Brothers picked up a 2-1 win in the earlier game this evening. Now they are both on 27 points. As we see Uwe is making a run here. This could be another chance for Gokulam Kerala. Saurav takes a shot. It's a feeble one though. Shikuttan was there. Was thinking of shooting for a second. Didn't have a chance to. Now Mendy has it. He wanted to shoot. Peter goes down. They're asking for a penalty. Mendy is asking especially... Not going to get it. Shikutan on the left for Gokulam Kerala. He's had a very good game. Will he look for the goal himself? He does and he finds it. Shikutan with an incredible goal. The number 13 makes it number 4 for Gokulam Kerala. And this has been a field day for them. What a performance from the side who is looking to make it. Two Hero I League titles in a row. And this is a performance worthy of that. And referee Harish Kundu brings it to a close. It's another victory for Goklam Kerala. Victory number 11 of the season. As they go up to 37 points with a 4-0 victory versus Naroka FC. Yeah, now.